Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy uh, Sunday. Good morning. So today is my third day on uh, a 10x life bootcamp, and I would like to leave a Sunday lovely message for everybody of my friends. I know that everybody is doing their best in their life, and everybody pushes really hard. And I'm going to give you a backstory of where I was some years ago. You know, there was a time in my life where I didn't like the way things were in my life. And I wanted things to change, but I didn't know how to make things change. I didn't know uh, what to do exactly. I did everything in my power uh, using all the knowledge, the experience I have in my life um, to change the circumstances and situation but then it was very frustrating because i felt like i was on a roller coaster and it took many years many many years to realize that for things to change in my life i had to change um i really wanted things to change but i didn't realize that you personally have to change before things around you change you know that's a small thing but it's one of the biggest things that i could have ever learned and even after learning it to you know to apply it or to really put it into motion was very very difficult for me because i was really looking for things to change around me i was looking for people to be better around me so that the situation could be better and then we can all go on our merry land and have a happier life. But the truth is, things never change as long as you don't change. So if you're in a place you don't like, if you're around circumstances that you don't like, you have to change. And sometimes it's difficult. So it's like, okay, if I have to change, who am I changing into? So if I let go of what I know... Where am I going to hold on to? Because it's the unknown. And this is the part where I keep on asking everybody who watches my videos, uh, who really wants their life to be better, to look at someone who's living a life they want. And not people who are just pretending with cameras, going to a good looking place, taking pictures. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about um, live the yolo kind of stuff no i'm not talking about someone who puts on a good outfit gets in a car drives somewhere takes a bunch of pictures and it looks like that's living their best life no i'm talking about people who are free in their mind people who have this growth in their mind people who have you know them doing something doesn't take away from who they are and they're not putting up a show for the crowd but it's who they really are deep in the core it's a it's people who you see that their kids will be able to have a good life they'll have a roof over their head no matter what uh their kids won't sleep in starvation um it's it's more than just an outfit it's more than just an occasion it's more than just standing at a big building and getting a picture which is not even your building it's just standing in front of somebody's building you know what I mean so changing oneself that means changing the idea of what a good life is changing of how do I move from scarcity to abundance how does this happen how does this change? Who lives in abundance? What does abundance look like? Maybe abundance is putting on a cute outfit, um, getting a bottle of wine. Maybe abundance is I'm going to Lusaka, I'm going to Johannesburg, I'm going to Dubai, and I'll take pictures around um, places. Or maybe it's going on a yacht. Is that abundance? When you come back from that trip, are you less on money? Is there food for the family? Is that really abundance or is that a show? What is it? You know, we need to ask ourselves this hard question. So look at people who are really living in abundance. Not a show, not just a picture to just get likes and hearts on Facebook or Instagram, but really in abundance. 
really a life where they're working towards something that will leave the next generation in a better place. And sometimes working comes in different ways. There could be someone who's physically working and there could be someone who's um, working around people who are doing better and they're aid to that and by being an aide or someone loyal or like even people who marry into wealth and people who are working for it, different different spectrums we've got operas we've got beyonces we've got uh megan you know different people different levels there's so many people to look out there like really study and then ask yourself how do i get to a place like that um i know for someone who doesn't have they're limited but by how they can dream mostly because they'll think people who dress better than them who go to places that are better are better off but sometimes it's an illusion so we really really need to dig deep we really need to see what are we striving for is it just a pair of outfit and take pictures and look like we have made it in life when you go back home is that buying is that buying a shoe uh thing elevate your family or is it just for the picture? Is it just having an item? So we really need to think beyond clothes, beyond just getting likes, beyond just getting hearts. Um, it's important to invest in yourself. Don't don't get me wrong. It could be clothes. Um, it could be um, car, whatever. But that's not an investment. That's a liability. So we need to understand what is an asset, what is an, a liability things like clothes and cars that help us get from one point to another and stuff like that but those are not assets those are liabilities you are the asset upgrade your brain sometimes if you can't buy an air ticket to be to events you can't find yourself around uh, circles of people who are doing much much more what you need to do is look at programs that those people have get closer to them by things that uh, they have to offer and you know in this digital space you know you follow different people online but really take the time to look at people who are doing better or people who are really growing when I say growing I mean really really growing and there are different ways someone can be a Michelle Obama someone can be an Oprah you can be a Beyonce superstar you can be a Melania Trump. All these ladies I've mentioned, they're successful in their own way. And I, I won't and I can't, you know, criticize one. Because regardless of who and how they did it, their kids are not starving. They are set for life. So as a woman, you really need to know what angle is your strength. And you really need to go at that. But really surround yourself with people who've achieved more so that it's more than just an outfit or a shoe. Um, invest in your knowledge, surround yourself with people who are striving for more, people who are hungry to do better. It's really important and God bless everybody this Sunday. You know, have a dream and then play for the blessings for the dream you have. You know, you have to go to the water with a net and a fishing rod and then have a prayer. Don't just be at home and then pray for the fish to fall in your room. That doesn't happen. So, my boot camp is about to start. I thought I could leave a few uh, drops for the Sunday for everybody. Um, ladies who are watching, really think about what I said. Um, beauty has its time. Youthness has its time. People are born and people leave the earth. So, in your time... Um, Look at what element is your strength. Look at different people. Like I said, there's uh, we've got Oprahs, we've got Beyonces, we've got uh, Melania Trumps, we've got Megan. What's her name? I don't remember the last name. The one who married the prince. Um, I'm mentioning big names because I want to say a name that everybody can understand. I'm sure that people who maybe are not on those pillars, but who are incognito in their lives, like search them, and um know what way will work best for you so that you have a tree to climb and i'm about to start my boot camp see you later i love you guys happy sunday god bless